my first ever uh, makeup tutorial video which I'm posting uh, in YouTube okay so I've recreate this makeup look which I wore about two weeks ago I've posted these uh, pictures of this makeup look uh, in my Instagram and Facebook uh, and I got positive response from it so I'm here to recreate and I hope um, you know uh, you are able to follow through so those of you who have recreated this makeup look please do uh, share and tag uh, me at instagram which i will share all my social media links uh, below all right so enjoy this video um see you all hey guys i have already done my eyebrow um and I put on my blue contact lens for this look okay so I have already also put on uh, my apply my moisturizer on my face okay and I'm gonna apply my primer this primer before I start the whole makeup so I'm just gonna use the elf color space primer okay right just scripts then rub I'm going to concentrate more on this area okay not so much under the eye area okay okay then I prime my eyelids. I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Okay, just apply all over the lip. Okay. Um, I love using this one because it especially if you are using doing any sparkly kind of eye makeup look okay it's good by itself also but I never tried using on its own okay alright the products use later Okay, you don't have to use the exact ones if you don't have it. Okay, um, it's not a must, but I'm just showing you of what I did and what I used. Uh, you can uh, just find something similar as long as it's about the same colors. Yeah, hopefully it gives it gives um the same result. Yeah. Okay. So okay, on my crease here. Right, I'm going to just use um, this color from Costa Sands. It's a pen. Right, that's one. That's one, yeah. Okay, it's slightly light orange color. Okay, I'm just going take a little bit of that and put slightly above my crease okay the reason why is because my eyes are going down slightly droopy so I'm doing this slightly above my crease so you will lift up my eyes okay that's it okay I'm going to do the side of my eyes I'm just going to take a clean blending brush just to blend 
soften the look yeah the eyeshadow okay then um on the lids i just find a brush hold on okay okay take another brush a flat brush then i'm going to use from makeup cake this pen in whimsical is it yep it's sparkly pink color light pink yeah yeah there right then i'm just going to slightly damp the brush so it will have more vibrant color then put it on the lips all over the lips right. and do the other side Sim this is very simple and easy okay and I hope that you can recreate this look too a little bit more to intensify the color then using okay going back with the crease brush I'm going to use the color the first color oatmeal again right on my crease then use a clean blending brush oops oops okay blend the eyeshadows bring in slightly upwards here Okay, I think that's enough. Now I'm going to use the same brush, crease brush, and I'm going to take this color from Coastal Sense also, which is called Barista. It's brown, light brown. Okay. And just to intensify my crease area. Alright, so what I'm going to do is use that to the end here and slightly bring to the center of my eye. Okay. Do the same to the other side. And slightly bring up to the crease area here. Ooh, I'm sorry. Okay, just use the clean blending brush and Blend all the Oh, sorry. I did. Okay. Blending all the colors together. Yeah, very simple. If you want to deepen the colors or intensify the colors, you can go in some more. Okay, if you're going for that kind of natural look, you can just finish at this but I'm just going to go in with a uh, whimsical from makeup kit okay just to put a little bit on the lids after because after blending the colors slightly fade away yeah okay get your sparkle on listen to your heart and feel it beating strong when you're in doubt glitter it out every time lights up let's rock the runway we'll take
we have everything blended out then I'm going to use the NYX eye pencil okay so now I'm going to use a uh, NYX jumbo pencil in cottage cheese and just line my waterline alright okay and the other side too right. then I'm gonna use the Urban Decay 24-7 eye pencil just to do my upper inner eye is that what you call it? yeah, I think so Okay. I'm almost done with the eyes. Hold on. Just need to. Okay, guys. I'm just going to set the um white eyeliner here. Okay, I'm just going to use any. You can use any white um shimmery eyeshadow. I'm going to use the one from Shady Balm uh, Shady Lady from the Balm the white color okay then just press against the pencil the the, the one that you have made using pencil earlier Okay, um, then um, I'm just going to use another small brush. Okay. Um, first, just using wipes. Let's clean up a bit of the lower eyes here right. okay then just going to use a small brush and smudge my eye area below here okay so using the same color first I'm going to use oatmeal okay from Costa Sands okay so just Basically, the area here. Okay. Then the other side. Taking slightly more. Just use a brush. It's okay if you bring accidentally bring the eyeshadows down, okay? Because you can clean them up later. Then after that, using the same brush, I'll just clean it a bit. Then taking the second color, the darker brown, um, just the outer area here, right? Yep, there. Doing the same at the other side. Then for the inner part here, can actually just under the eyebrow, I'm going to use Maroon Luminizer from the balm also. Just slightly 
in the inner ear dot. Okay, this is to brighten up the eyes. Okay, then slightly just below. At the brow here. Yep, yeah. just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Right, then we're going to line our eyes with. Like line my. Above my eyelashes here. Okay, uh, I'm using the MAC water. Eyeliner pencil, okay, waterproof. Okay, um, I'm not going to do any wing line. Just this is straight line here. Okay, following the curve of my eye shape. Uh, the reason why I'm not doing the wing because I'm actually going to use glitters on top of it and this one is just to cover when I put eyelashes later okay there alright I'm just going to finish up my face first before continuing with the eyes okay so for the face uh i already primed my face earlier on so i'm going to use um my foundation okay my foundation i'm using um two face bond this way mine is in the color vanilla okay just going to put one palm Okay, and then with the blender, just spread it all over. The fun way, what's in? You gotta let it out. You gotta let it out. Dig deep for inspiration. Try on your new creation. Eastern. H rewind. Uh, this is the concealer in a brightener. Okay, so yep, gonna trace it this under my eyes. Okay, slightly here. Okay, the reason why I put it here, I have very obvious smiling lines okay. people calling me a joke <laughs> okay so going back with the beauty blender and I'm going to just tap the skin using the powder um Laura Mercier the color in translucent okay the lip powder okay just gonna fit the small brush okay And just step the powder in. Fashion mashup, life doesn't have to match up. Be fearless in your design. Confetti from the rafters, you shimmer as to your shine. Tough it ever after. Get your sparkle on, your 
I don't usually set the other parts of my face with powder. Uh, the reason is because I do not have um I have combination skin like normal skin type. Yeah, so if you have oily skin type, you might want to set with powder all over your face. Okay, just to make sure that the makeup will last longer okay so after that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this Tom Yap uh, HD color base wine okay it's a, in a palette and they have different shades here um, you can use it to highlight or even contour your face okay I'm just going to use it to slightly contour my face okay so I'm going to use this one this shade okay this here under my cheekbone I do not contour the rest of my face. Okay, you can do it if you want to. I just don't do it because I wear hijab and usually my inner will cover uh, the sides here. Okay, so it actually already helped to shape my face. Then slightly sides of the nose. Okay. Okay. Then for the blush, I'm going to use from Lomia Cosmetic. Also, the color is in natural. Okay. It's a uh, natural color. Right. So just use a blush brush. Come on, brush. Yep. This one. Then for the highlighter, I'm just going to use the balm again, Mary Luminizer. Mary Luminizer, yep. Okay. Right. On the cheekbone here. Slightly chin and on my nose. Okay, just on the tip here. Just blending everything together. Alright, that complete the face and the face everything um, for the eyes I'm just going to continue um, so I'm going to curl my lashes
currently I'm using L'Oreal Fall Slash Architect the first coat Oops. Okay. then we're gonna put the false eyelash I'm gonna use from white paint is the number zero seven okay it comes in a box like this um this one is very nice okay so already from Watin is the okay um then I'm going to line my eyes with this blue glitter eyeliner um from mosaic okay it's light blue so basically I'm just going to Do the other side too. I'm gonna do here. the eyes like this okay you tend to get some glitters on the eyelashes can just clean it up later okay yep. okay then I'm gonna use Urban Decay Mascara or you can use whatever mascara you have just going to do my lashes with blue. Okay. Just in a circular motion. Okay. This one. Let me just bend. Okay. Well, we do mix. Okay, we just need to go back and touch up. No worries. It's more matter.
face, then is the eyes, the face, and I'm just going to do my lips. So from Urban Decay again, um, the color is Naked, very nice, cheap. And then I'm going to top with LA Girl lip paint, glaze lip paint, and this color, flat. Yeah. Done. Okay, then just gonna set my makeup. Okay, using the spray, Mac Fix Plus. So that's it. This is the whole makeup look. I hope you like it.